Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome to me loading into a game of Team Fight Tactics. Um, it's basically an auto battler. Hey, look, we just got in. So similar to almost like the same mechanics as the shop, as like Snake RX, for instance. Um, similar to Hearthstone Battlegrounds, which we were playing a little bit of earlier on the channel, what have you. We buy units and we put them on a board. And every round we get matched up against enemies that we have to fight uh, for the first couple rounds it's just a bunch of random creeps but eventually um, you fight against each other and the builds that you're playing so each unit you put out has some statistics what have you but really really importantly for auto battlers they have like a faction and a class so I have a knight out there and if I could get a second knight all of my allies would have 20 damage blocked every time that they get attacked which seems pretty good um sometimes when you're fighting these guys you get a couple of question marks so we got a nocturne for free um which we can talk about in a second so revenants when they die they revive with a certain amount of health assassins have a chance to crit uh what have you um lots of fun stuff for sure to do um and there's one more round you can see at the top of the screen uh, of fighting just like random enemies before we get into um, before we get into who killing each other basically us and the other other players in this game so I'm buying units I can only put out a number of units based on how many I have um, what my level is and I can spend my money to buy units and put them on my board like ooh, I've done that I could spend the money to buy experience to level up faster or I could spend money to re-roll my shop and get a new list of champions so when you're trying to get you know specific champions uh, it can make a lot of sense to do that also a big get in these games and I know I'm, I'm info dumping you we're about to start fighting opponents so should probably get my uh, winning cap on but we don't have that much going on to be quite honest um if you get three of the same kind of unit you get to level it up to a two star so on the top left you can see that there's a bronze little chevron here that'll go to silver and then gold maybe our opponent will have a level two yeah see here two star Olaf and then he's got three of the faction bonus skirmisher so you can see they all have a little shield around them and every second the fight goes on they're gonna get stronger and stronger okay you generally know what's going on based on winning or losing these combats you do damage to each other and there's a whole list of people we're officially in last place because we got beat up by somebody who got a good faction bonus and a two star good for them as we level up and play through the game though there's going to be all these like rarity one units so see how there's a little gray one dollar here or a green two dollar here we're going to get higher and higher tier units which will completely change um kind of the way we play here which is a lot of fun can be different I'm just trying to see what we want to do we've been offered some sentinels we've got some ironclad you're redeemed none of this is redeemed we're kind of we're struggling to find um, some ground to stand on in this one. I don't really like assassins early in the game. I find they're quite weak. So I'm just gonna do this for a second. It's not really a good build. Uh, redeemed cannoneer. If I had one more sentinel to throw in, it would be good. But I do not. Uh, Tristana is a very good unit. Uh, but we'll talk about builds and synergies kind of as we get a little bit of uh, a synergy going. Um, all you really need to know is that losing is bad because you lose health and you eventually lose the game uh, last one standing wins uh, winning is good because if you win consecutively a bunch you will get um, more money but also if you lose consecutively a bunch you also get a little bit more money so interesting you can trade health for money uh, and every ten dollars you have left over will give you an interest up to a max of five times so fifty dollars uh, so you can see that we got an extra dollar. See, we've got two star deer here, which is fine. Are you a skirmisher? You are. So that's a skirmisher. Udir is a skirmisher. And this person here is a skirmisher. So bam, just like that, we're in like Flynn. We've got the skirmisher bonus going on. Um, and we're 
One away from like a legionnaire bonus, so I'll just throw in him. Um, and we're close to a redeemed as well. It's a we're we're just we got a lot of kind of um. What's the saying? Something buns in the oven. Like we got a lot of potential things that we could go for. None of them are super strong. I'm super keen um, to the point that I end up often coming last or first place on going for a dragon build, which is an interesting one because it's like an economic build where you uh, don't have good combat stats, so you end up losing a lot, but you have kind of like an economic bonus. So in the late game, you have a lot more units, higher tier units, a lot more money. Maybe you can level up faster. So... Lots of room to play in this game. We should grab him just for fun. I'm really not interested in the poppy. Um, for instance, this unit here is a dragon. So if I want to go dragon strats, I could do that. I also have skirmisher, legionnaire going on. They're taking the Yasuo, so we will take the... We'll, we'll go for it. We'll, we'll show you the... This is an Ash. She, and this game is a lot easier if you know the League of Legends characters, because then you know, like, the types of abilities they might do. Like, Ash, whenever she gets up to, like, units auto-attack, so they just attack at their, whatever range they can do. But eventually, they'll build up enough mana with these blue bars to do their ability. Ash's ability is to shoot a big ice arrow that stuns people. And if you play League of Legends, then that's not surprising to you. Mmm... Not really interested in most of what we've picked up, to be honest. I'd rather just get up to the $20. Enjoy a little bit of... A little bit of... Excuse me, I'm trying to English here. Um, interest on our money. We've also been getting these little cubes, squares. I'm sure you've noticed them. You can put them on your units to get stacks or stats. So like magic resist, health, what have you. Uh, but you can combine them with two units, so the fist plus any of these items will make these, and they have very particular effects. So the game can get a little bit overbearing, a little bit confusing with all the items, the units, the the starring, the leveling up and stuff. So I'm just trying to keep it simple, kind of telling you like the high level information. Um, this is another skirmisher, Nidali, so we'll do that. So even though I've lost the... Uh, Legionnaire bonus. I'm happier to have another person getting the skirmisher. Skirmishers at the start of battle gain a shield. Uh, what have you. And all this is fine. Again, I could buy and try and level up. Leveling up is good because you'll get higher tier units sooner and you'll get um, more units on the board so you're more likely to win the round. You can also spend money refreshing the shop trying to get a higher and higher level unit. Um... But we're not there yet, so we're just letting our, our interest build up here, trying to not lose too many fights, trying to keep our, our health high enough. Um, and I think we're actually going to win this one, so that's nice. Specifically, in case you want to skirmisher, is at the start of combat, they each get a shield and bonus attack damage each second. So 20% of max health is a shield, plus 3 attack damage every second. So the longer the fight goes, the better the skirmisher does. Uh, and then I have all these items I could throw out on my units, but the reason I'm not... You can't take units off of... You can't take items off of units once you put them on. Uh, you can't do it easily, at least. You could sell the unit and you'll get the items back, or very specific items might give them back. Uh, so I'm kind of waiting to see if I'm going to get like a carry unit, a unit that's really going to do most of my damage, or you know, carry my team to victory and then put all these items together in the most beneficial combination uh, to give me something good. But I have a lot of items now, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just go for it. I'm also liking the idea of leveling up here so now I can get a fifth person, so now I can keep my skirmisher bonus while doing what I just did, which is three draconic units. What could you get? See, I'm not interested. Well, Runan's Hurricane is pretty good on you. And then Hand of Justice is not really doing it for me. Ash is like an okay champion. She, you can you can get her to c uh, carry a little bit. Um, yeah, we're not ready to commit yet. So she shoots this 
big ice arrow, and if it hits someone, it'll it'll stun the group of people. Uh, she completely whiffed that one, and look at like the good items they got on this Nidali here. She's going to eat my team. Plus, they have a lot like the two star Vladimir and stuff like dangerous. But what you what I was talking about earlier, so the draconic I was saying doesn't give you a combat bonus. Instead, it gives you an economic bonus where it gives you an egg at the end of every combat an egg you say yeah a little eggy and that egg will eventually hatch and give me free units free money sometimes items uh, so the longer we can run dragons without losing the game uh, the stronger we'll be also you've seen us do little these rondels where there's a bunch of champions and you run up and grab one we also get priority picks if you're losing so couple benefits to sucking at this game we're not interested in any of this so we're just trying to get up to um, level six as soon as we can or get up to 50 gold and then get up to level six if you can put it off and it's hard to do with dragons you'd like to get to level eight and then start re-rolling 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 because at level eight you have a good chance of getting higher tier units uh, that are particularly powerful but uh, if we keep losing this devastatingly, 13 of our, what we used to have, 100 health, now we're down to 59, uh, you start dying really quickly. So we might have to start bailing out of our economic run and into a fighting run sooner than we want. What do we get for free? Oh, sweet. We got a two-star set now. So another two-star dragon. And he's pretty good. I'm kind of tempted... I'm going to put two gloves on him, and that gives him the Thief's Gloves, and that means every round he gets a couple of random items put on him, which is a kind of interesting build, to be honest. And we'll put you here. So he might get items that are good for, like, magicians, mages, magic users. We might get items that are good for tanks. We might get ones that are good for doing damage. He really would rather have tank items and stuff and just kind of be a frontline survivor, but... We don't have control over that, but the two gloves are definitely giving him way more stats than he would have anywhere. So you're you're giving up control uh, in, in the effort to get something like just more raw power. And then some rounds you'll have something good. It's randomized every round, so you're never quite sure what you're going to get, um, which is interesting. Now we're going into the shared draft. So if we could... It's hard to get five dragons going. We're missing a Zyra and a Galio, and neither of them are offered here. So I think I'm most interested in getting this sword that the Draven has. But Draven's a popular champion, so he gets taken. Uh, let's just take this Diana. She's worth four gold, and I get uh, her item, which I think is fine. You can see my overlay, so here's a little overlay I have that allows me to see like, oh, this this combines into this, or this combines into this. Uh, but you can also look at champions, and because it's not clear always, like I know the Ash could do well with a Runin's Hurricane and like some other item. So I can just kind of quickly look that up. We'll go ahead and go into below 50 something dollars. Put another skirmisher down. Uh, sell you. Ronin's hurricane times two kind of seems funny. Let's do that. I, I don't know how many additional attacks she gets, right? But she's definitely shooting a lot of bullets. Oh yeah, if you don't know, the Ronin's hurricane just shoots like an extra projectile every time you shoot. So... She's kind of, if I look at my damage, doing the most, but just not enough, really. Not enough. And our set's dying too quickly. I mean, this is a really good team of lots of very powerful level 2s. Level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2. Uh, lots of Cavaliers that I can see, which have like damage reduction. And Knights, which also have damage reduction. So, wasn't a team that we were going to do super well against, but... Would have been nice to do better than what we did. Hmm. I'm not sure that any of these are super good. To be 
be honest. I do like the Rose Thorn, but I don't have a tank, a proper tank. I guess we'll take this. We might end up selling our Ash, which will give us all these items back. We have another Rascal's Gloves, so we'll do this. This guy had an item that shields everyone in the same row as him, so I just quickly threw everyone in that row. Let's think about how we're gonna, what we're gonna do here. Oh, this person just jumps behind your lines. This is the Tristana. I said she was pretty good earlier. Because she jumps around, she often ends up getting behind you and killing your people you need that have to do the damage. So Ash didn't do anything for us there. Yikes. Okay, we're dying a little bit too quickly here. So let's um level up in a, a GIF here. We would really love to level up our Ash. Um... Well, we, we need one more Ash or one more Irelia. Um, right now, we're just kind of running the Nidali. Nidali. The Nidali. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't need you. Yeah, so I think we need to do a little bit of re-rolling now. Hey, there we go. Two star, two star. Perfect. Uh, we can throw this guy out. Or this one. Yeah, for now, we'll do you. And let's get a couple of rerolls in. I know I've had a Draven offered to me there. He's a pretty interesting guy. So is Valkaz. Viego will change things for us. But, oh god. This is five dragons. So we just lost all our other bonuses. And I would have liked to have people stand in other ways. Uh... But this is going to do more for us for now. For sure. I almost want to just give our Viego um, more health. He's an assassin, but he specifically, he will attack people and take them and convert them to my team. Which can do unreal damage and save our lives. Like, save our souls. So, I'm thinking, even though they're not ideal items for him, it would probably be worth putting something on him to keep him alive. And then now we're going to be getting gold and dragon eggs. So spatula is also interesting because you can craft items to fake that you're part of another class. Uh, right now we don't have anything we need to kind of merge into. So let's not worry about it. But I'm going to do a little bit of re-rolling here. I don't really want the Nidali. Oh, a Kale. Uh, Kale is another tier 5 unit. Um, I said I would give you this. So how am I going to do with the Kale? What am I going to do? Basically, oh, I have an extra, I have an extra Udir. Okay. Now, the items that are on, um, Ash would be really well served on Kale, but for now... It's just going to have to go. So Kale's big thing is that she's going to very slowly empower more and more and more. And as the battle goes on, she does absolute bonkers damage. But she needs to survive to get there. And that's like the, the hard part when the enemy has such a strong front line. Like this guy's going Knights, Cavaliers, and Ironclad, which are the three defensive classes. And uh, yeah, we're not just, we're just not, not overcoming that. If I had one more skirmisher class, I'd be a little bit stronger, but Let's give a show. I'd love to get my Aurelia out, but getting to level 8 is going to be a little tough. Also, if I could get, like if I could get two more sets, I would have a level 3 set. And if I could get three more Udirs, I would have a level 3 Udir. And that would clear a lot of space on my board. So, really need to consider how we want to do that come on viego conquer 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 yeah there we go we got one of them on our team so that's going to make a huge difference and honestly whether or not viego succeeds in conquering someone's soul is really what's making the difference right now for us oh and see that huge attack of swords that's our kale fully getting to the end of the line um becoming more and more powerful I think here, 
I really wanted a sword, but I think we take the Garen and we think about selling the Garen. It's not actually the, the person I want or need, but he had a bow, and the bow's good. Titan's Resolve. Mm. It's not that good. I, I really kind of wanted the sword, because the sword makes the Spear of Sojin with this uh, blue. But it's a whole thing. So let's... Do we level up? So we can fit more stuff on our board. I think so. We're going to go into like... I call it debt sometimes. It's not debt. But... I'm going to go below $50. So we can fit the squad on. Akshan is better than a Garen for us. I mean, there's a lot of things going on here. I think we just sell out. We gotta be a sellout. Now, the stuff that we have on our Ash would be absolutely phenomenal on our Akshon as he flies around the board and tears it up. So we do have to give that a thought. Because we are very close to dying. So maybe I sell out of uh, the five-star dragons and I start throwing in units that are actually just a little bit more powerful. Mm, maybe I don't have to just yet, because I just got this Heimerdinger, and he's pretty good. But no, I, I've got to... So who's a dragon I don't need? Honestly, get this Ash out of here. Kale, you get one of the Hurricanes, you get this, you get a Zenith. Um... I don't know who needed to go in there. I'm not doing my Draconic 5, which is fine, but I could have got something. Oh, Gwen's a very dangerous character to have against us. Uh, this might be the end. Please, Akshan. Oh, he got assassinated. Bye to us. That sucks. Really anticlimactic way to lose. But, um... Ah, rats. And we actually got last place. Wow. Wow. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know if I'm going to share this one, but it was a rough, rough go for us. And we didn't actually get last place. Somebody else technically lost by more. We got exactly down to zero health. He got to minus three, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed. Ciao for now.